Dan Gush and welcome to another edition of Dan's Fishing Tales. Hey, today we're going to be fishing with that uh, rod and reel combo that I'd showed you here a while back when I told you I'd got it. This is the Handing Fishing Matching Magic Soul rod and reel. You can see it looks beautiful, but it fishes just as well. And I really like this thing for ultralight stuff. Normally I might fish like a finesse TRD, but the fish just have not been hitting on that. They have been hitting like crazy on this natural forage bait, four inch worm. It's called an R4. Now this is a green pumpkin. That is not the color I've been hitting them on. So we're gonna try that today because I've got the matching head to it and that head is a z-man it's a shroom head they call it and uh, we're going to try that i've not tried shroom heads with natural forage bait worms but i can't see why they won't work um, and i'm going to show you how this thing casts because it's great we've got on here i have got 10 pound test casking premium monofilament on there that monofilament i don't know what it is about it it's even a different feel to it but i have had great luck and no i am not on the cast king site or on the pro staff i haven't been i can't even negotiate with those people so uh, no it's just that i think their line is great and i have been using it and with this handing uh magic soul real it just works super so you're going to see me doing some casting down here with it hopefully we'll catch some fish you can see how that works the rod handles fish great the reel handles are great uh, everything's worked really good with this i want to catch a few more fish on this though and that's what we're going to try to do today uh, so let's get down there and do some fishing you can see right there I did not put my thumb on that reel. That's how good it can. Well, I came back up and I changed worms. We're going to see. I've been fishing for a bit and just not doing any good at all with that green pumpkin. Uh, and I haven't been lately. I've been catching them on black and blue and uh, uh, what was the other one? Uh, oh, the June bug color. So we're going to try this black and blue and see if that makes a difference. Can you believe that? First cast on this different color into the same area I've been fishing and you get a fish. That shows you right there that color can make a difference because I'm fishing it the same way with a real quick hop or a dart. And uh, it also shows you how this finesse rod, because actually this is a finesse rod. It's a light action by the way, I didn't tell you that. And again, just like the shadow rod, the thing that I don't like is the fact I had to put on an aftermarket hook keeper. But it works. That's the main thing. How does it catch fish? Not that it's got a hook keeper, but how does it catch fish? And this one has done very well. Uh, Got to get this out of here before I get him hooked again. Here we go. So we'll get him back in the water and see if we can get something else. But... Uh, it really showed the difference there because you've seen that I just switched it, made the cast, and bang, got one.
as you can see, it definitely made a difference switching over. Uh, it went from that, just from that green pumpkin, same head, didn't change that, uh, to this black and blue flick. And it's, this is one of my favorite. That and the June bug are two of my favorites that I use as a natural forage bait. Um, finesse worms like that, the R4 worms. In fact, I'm gonna show you a bag of those. Hang on here. Okay, here's a bag. I want to just see this, because when you go into a tackle store, if you're looking for them, you cannot miss that logo. Uh, it's right there, and uh, they, they make great lures. There's no doubt about it. Soft plastics, yeah, get that out of the way. So, you know, combined with that and this light casting rod, these are just perfect. I, I, I like this. This and that shadow rod that I showed you in another video uh, are perfect for these finesse worms like that. And this one also works for a lot of my other, like I said, my Z-Man uh, finesse worms that I use. Those the TRDs and that works great. And you can see how I cast. I cast it that one time. As you can see, I did not put my thumb on it, like I told you. And uh, it worked great. And this, this rod and this reel, like I said, again, this is the magic soul rod reel combo uh, you have to buy them separate i don't think the company puts them together and easy enough to find the the company's website because it's handing fishing that's it dot com and uh, they've got it on uh, you can probably end up getting it quicker off of amazon although you can buy direct on the site but you, a lot of these other rods i see them on amazon other than their websites kind of strange on their website mainly it's in the m1 rods and reels and i'm really anxious to get my hands on some of those m1 rods i have not tried one don't know what it's like but i want to team them up with my uh, m1 reels that i got and uh, see how it really works but right now they're on those eight and a half footers and been doing good with that uh, even been using them for crankbaits. I mean, we'll have to do another video with one that uh, where we're using some of those uh, rattle traps. So until next time, get out on the water and enjoy a great day of fishing.